How's it going? Uh, I guess by now everybody's seen uh, the Gatineau police at work. I'm like, you see your stories trying to deflect it, saying we don't see the whole context of it. Yada, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But, like, what could it possibly have been, man, for, you know, that it took that many cops to attend? Uh, whatever, man. <laughs> Uh, and for all these politicians, like I said, what, remember, a whole bunch of them will start getting caught as the day, as the week progresses, yada, yada. And quite a few have now. Uh, my, my thoughts on it is they should all be fired and uh, lose their pensions. That's it for impro impro impropriety or improper behavior, whatever you want to call it. I think... Uh, if the one party did that, they'd be sending a message to all the rest. And then I think it would go a long way towards fooling us stupid Canadians and thinking it was real. Don't you? Just saying. Because none of them lost their jobs. Oh, yeah. So sorry. I'd not do that again. You know, and yeah. I will stay home for a couple of weeks because we were bad and we'll be punished. <laughs> Fired. No pension. Nah, that's not going to happen. Raise. Yay! All right, so uh, let's see. I've been harping on China quite a bit lately, but it's happening so fast. Maybe they're bullshitting, eh? Look, I, I briefly talked about uh, uh, Al Jack Ma. Now it seems like he's disappeared, the founder of Alibaba. Ooh, and Chinese billionaires disappearing. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Uh, I've seen some things about Chinese banks fucking up. I guess they're going to be calling in all favors from politicians who uh, owe them money. Do we have any like that in Canada? No, we, we don't have nothing like that going on here in Canada, do we? <sighs> okay, so what else I spoke of? Uh, why the lockdown is because there's shortages. I think so too. And if you think about it, because people can't go to work... There are a lot of shortages of things, aren't there? And it's going to get worse. So now uh, it seems like we really are living in some kind of dystopian novel. The simulation winking at us again. Um, next is going to have to be water. All right? I mean, uh, you've seen some stories the last few years sprinkle out here and there. I think it was Bolivia. I remember some greasy French company was trying to privatize their water there and the citizens went like fuck and there's some states i think illinois is one of them where it's i could be wrong on that but i know there's some states where it's illegal to be um saving rain water because they say you're you're uh, stopping it from going into the ground and recycling it so that's got to be the big one once you start seeing stories like that where the government's controlling your water, then you know we're right and truly fucked. So we have the disease that's so deadly, deadly. The jab that's going to come with the disease, because it's deadly, so deadly. Shortages. Next has got to be water. So everything's going so fast. There have to be some kind of environmental disaster that does something to the water, or something happens to some bigger cities where there's something happens with their water filtration system, something like that. Eh? Something. I still can't help but wonder, uh, like, uh, all the money that this country gives away and all the money America gives away around the world, when uh, their their own infrastructure is. Fucking just crumbling, man. Bitch, people in Flint, Michigan would uh, benefit greatly from some of the hundreds of millions they're giving away to Egypt to buy Russian weapons and stuff like that. And the Sudan. I guess the Sudan will be a good place to live if you're a fucking warlord. Like I said, woohoo! Hundreds of millions of dollars coming in. Holy crap. I guess there'll be a big demand for white slaves down there. Or native women kind of slaves. Just saying. I'm guessing no water is going to be the next thing, right? Something's going to have to happen where it's going to be water. Where they're going to have to control it, get money. Because 
<laughs> you can't go three days without water, man. We're, we're human bodies, what, 80, 90% water. That's next. It's going to be water. Something to do with water. I, mean, I haven't really seen nothing about it yet, but it's going to have to be something like that. I've always said uh, uh, that if something like that happened, I would say it would be like that fucking uh, tailings, tailings poison fucking lake, whatever you want to call it, the tailings ponds up in Fort Mac. Something like that ruptures and it poisons the aquifer, right? Because uh, the aquifer uh, under, under us, where it goes under my province, Saskatchewan, Alberta, right? There's a big aquifer there. So I'm guessing that's going to be uh, the play that comes next thing. Eh? And if you have a well, if you have a well like I do, uh, seismic events that happen around, and it could happen somewhere else in the world, it can affect your well water, man. Um, that happened last year. There was some quakes, and uh, I think I talked about it. My well water went muddy, man. It went all sandy and silty, and uh, it lasted for like a fucking week. I had to t tap into my uh, line into the house and put a filter in between. It stopped now, but I had to put a filter, and it was just full of silt in it. And uh, I thought for a, a while that, oh, my casing had collapsed, and, but it didn't. Um, it was just because of that. Some, uh, some neighbors told me, yeah, that can happen, blah, blah, blah. And, they cited some stories that had happened here before. Strange, eh? So look for something like that to happen. That would be my guess. That would be the play here to really fucking destroy Canada for a long time. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.